I'm going to take a look at this Hot Wheels Hot Nights Drive-In. I always called this the drive-in set, but actually it's the Hot Nights Drive-In set. It was available at Target, $19.99. Actually, it was in $19.99 and it was priced at $19.99. It didn't dawn on me. I've been calling it the drive-in set, but there were several sets that had a drive-in in the title. It didn't even dawn on me until I sat down to... Uh, do this video. This one is the Elvis set. That one I'll have to wait for his own special presentation. Yeah, four cars, all four models with the regular plastic tires, but each one has a different tire. We'll take a look at that when we zoom in. From left to right, we have the 57 Chevy. We have the Purple Passion, the 59 Caddy, and the 59 Impala. Love, love, love this set. Like I said, it was another $20 set. Got some uh, nice writing on the back. If you have a big screen, you can read that. If you don't, look in the description of the video. I'll put the text down there. Now, I had just started collecting in 1998, so when this came out in 1999, I really liked these four cars. They were really cool. Nice box set. I also liked the design of the box set. It had this uh, plastic corner, so you can see the tops of the cars. Had a triangle on top. It's like a drive-in. There's your. You can order your burgers. Got some ladies in the back. Uh, I can't tell if they're on roller skates. When I unbox it, I'll get a close-up of that there. And up here in the corner, there's Maddie Mattel. Now these were nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents for the set. Like the design of the set, but like the uh, Pops Garage, I just waited until they would go on sale or start getting clearance. There you go. Thirteen dollars and ninety cents. That's how much. Uh, the Pops Garage was somebody waited until they picked it up. This Target box set, there you go, just waited $4.94. Yeah, that's a good deal. Couldn't wait for it when it went down. I couldn't help myself. Bought a few, bought quite a few because, you know, four great cars, so you got to pick up an extra. The only problem is you wind up picking up an extra and then an extra come on five dollars an extra another one. Oh, fantastic set love this set the only thing box sets they take up some old space now if you're gonna open something up and you got two packages you pick the worst one to open just in case you might think that I would open up this one because it has a price tag but I need that price tag maybe for future videos just like I'm keeping this pops garage just for a little bit so I can refer to the price in future videos Instead, I'm going to open up this one because uh, it looks like he ran over a poor girl with pigtails. You can see it right there. Actually, I think that's the strap. So this is the one that we're going to open up. And I, I got to save the other one for my videos. Let's see. Once again, I showed this in another video. At the time, they were gathering email addresses for people to be on a Hot Wheels mailing list. They don't have that list anymore, I don't believe. A P.O. box probably closed. No, they don't have a limited warranty on them either. So, let's see, nothing special. There's the strings. I'll go ahead and cut them open and get the turntable so we can put them on proper display. Hey, that was neat. The whole thing was one piece of cardboard. Just kind of, they designed it in such a way to where everything just folded up and they made a, made a box. That was a, oops, you're supposed to be on the inside. Put that right there. You know, it was uh, something like that. But that was pretty cool. Just one piece. They have a bunch of folds. Hey, I like that. And of course, this is a glued on here. It seems to me that these types of restaurants were called car hops. H-O-P. I was born in 63. So, it might have still been around. I don't recall them specifically. It was more of a 50s thing. That's what you see in the movies. They would be on roller skates coming to serve your soda. Look at her posing. And look at that car posing over there. Now the 59 Caddy, it has the twin tail lights. You can see the two tail lights, the brake lights right there on the, with the, on the fins. That one has two tail lights on the fins, but it's not a convertible like the Caddy. I wonder what car that is right there. The 57 Chevy from the set is the blown engine version. Has metal body and plastic base. Has the blown engine coming up out of the hood. Check out the saw blade wheels. You don't see those very much anymore. They're also called directional wheels. Now just because the 57 Chevy has a blown engine doesn't mean every version with the blown engine has a metal body. Oh yeah, while it's coming around, check out the tamples on the front. You got headlights. You got the Chevy emblem. 
This one here, this was a regular basic issue, but it's a track version of the 57 Chevy. Has plastic body, metal base, no, plastic body, metal base, and the engine, I believe, is plastic. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Yeah, the engine seems plastic. So here you have a metal base, plastic body. This one's metal body, plastic base. And in 2014, you've probably seen this version of the 57 Chevy. Metal body, plastic base, and it has no engine popping up out of the hood. Now the 57 Chevy has been around, out of these four cars, it's been around the longest. This casting came out in the 70s, and there have been many, many versions. This one's a cop rods version. KB Toys exclusive, has nice fat rubber real rider tires. 57 Chevy, since it's been around so long, yeah, it's even been a treasure hunt several times. I have a few. This is the first one. Has nice Goodyear tires. Goodyear, real rider, rubber tires. Here's another version. Yeah, it has the regular three spoke wheels. It's a treasure hunt. There were no supers at the time. When these, car, these treasure hunts were released, there was no such thing as basics and supers. You, know, you got one version of the treasure hunt and that was it. Uh, there's also a color shifters version. This is not that version. You can find one in the color shifters packages. But the color shifters versions has a plastic base, plastic body, because they change easier. Got to get myself, I don't want to get my turntable all wet. Okay. I gotta get a towel. I don't know if we, I don't know if we'll be able to see through it. We'll go ahead and check out the color shifters version. It's a light orange, and let's see what happens when he takes a splash. Let me turn on my windshield wipers. Here we go. Sit. Go. Oh yeah. Look at that. You can tell how far I put it in. The line comes right across right here. Deeper. Let's go halfway across. This is the uh, col an older color shifters version of the 57 Chevy. The Purple Passion. This one has some nice details. You got your, these are basic white wall tires. You don't get these kind of tires on basic releases anymore. They save them for the adult releases. The three, four, five dollar packages. This one has a painted white roof, so it has added tampos. And then in the front, just like the others, got some headlights tampoed on there. Purple Passion came out early 90s, even though it's not a purple car. That's just the name of the car when uh, Larry Wood designed it. I believe he named it the Purple Passion. So there you have the basic white wall tires for this Purple Passion in this set. Let me show you another Purple Passion from a while ago. This one's, I don't know, maybe 10 years old since uh, 4th of July is coming up. Let's go ahead and bring out that one. I think it's Star Spangled. Check it out. This was another basic release, but it had coal mold tires. You don't see coal mold tires in the $1 basic assortment line anymore. Maybe some of you Monster Jam people recognize the Purple Passion from Monster Mutt. Yeah, Monster Mutt was in the Duo 2 pack. Love the Passion. Love the Monster Mutt. And I did a video showing when Monster Mug got re-released. There's a little bit of difference in the tempos. I'll give you a link to those videos in the description. If you like the passion, maybe you have a young lady who likes cars or you want to share the hobby. Maybe you want to look for this mystery version of the Purple Passion. It was in the Black Blister. That's the uh, Purple Passion. And yes, uh, it has been a treasure hunt. I think it was one of the first year treasure hunts. I just happen to have a couple. You're going to wind up with shade variations in the gold. I don't pay much attention to that. Uh, oh yeah, now that it's spinning around, that reminds me. The Purple Passion. They used to have a spot for the license plate. See right there, it's got a little indentation for the license plate. About the time when the Purple Passion came out, uh, it switched over. So uh, you're going to find the Pink Purple Passion with and without the license plates. The 59 Caddy. It's riding on seven spoke white wall tires. You don't see those wheels anymore either. That's another reason that's kind of neat to 
look up these older packs because then you get some stuff that just aren't around anymore. Pinstriping, nice uh, all around, white interior. It's got tampos on the front, tampoed headlights. Oh, yeah, right there it says El Dorado in case you can't see that. Tampos on the front, but as it spins around, it's kind of long, kind of skinny. That's why I don't buy a whole lot of variations of this model. Because when you're doing uh, the track, it's kind of skinny, bounces around between the lanes. Uh, loops, uh, long, not, uh, long cars are not good for the loops. Now, I did a video with this one right here, not with it, but it made an appearance in the 30th anniversary set. This one, this model is also a 90s model, it started out in the 90s. But I have a piece of track here to show you how skinny it is. I did a Matchbox track time video and some of the cars were too skinny for the boosters. Well, see, not all Hot Wheels models are um, made for boosters either. This one's skinny just to emphasize its long, slender size. See how much room it has to wiggle in the track. So if you use it for downhill racing, it's kind of going to be bouncing around. I mean, let me just take the Purple Passion just to show you uh, how, how much more narrow. It's hard to tell. But as you can, if you see here, look, this tire is higher. That little bit of skinniness makes a big difference for uh, track compatibility. So this is one of those models that's kind of fun to collect. Maybe it's good for your display. This one, I think, came out of a five-pack. Kind of nice to display. Or maybe if you're driving around town, it's a nice model. Good for collecting. But uh, track compatibility... Definitely not its forte, but the uh, blue version that came in this hot nights drive-in beautiful paint job And last but not least the 59 Impala. It's riding on lace wheels also known as wire spoke Just like the passion it got two-tone it got paint job on the roof Pretty nice design was I don't know if my finger was in the way so you can see the hood now this one has a gold plastic base. As a matter of fact, it has a gold plastic base just like the Treasure Hunt version when it came out. I'll show you that in a second. This one is hard to tell. It does have tail lights and it does have headlights. I'll bring the uh, Treasure Hunt coming around. I did a video on that one. I'll give a link to that as well as for, for the 59 Impala because there's also the 59 Chevy Impala Bel Air, which can get confusing. This model kind of brought it to the attention of collectors, you know, because Mattel one time they put 59 Cadillac, no, 59 Impala on the package, and people will say, hey, Mattel made a mistake, that's not a uh, 59 Chevy Impala Bel Air, that's the uh, 59 Impala. The, the castings are so close that it's kind of hard to tell the difference. I'm not so sure that you're even noticing them right here when I show you, but... Nonetheless, uh, this is a pretty neat model to collect as well. It's more of a drive around town kind of car for play value. It can do downhill racing. It would probably be alright for downhill racing. So, the Hot Nights Drive-In from the 1999 Target set. Pretty nice set. Definitely glad to have it. I'm going to have to get rid of some of my extras eventually. It's kind of hard to get rid of your uh, cars once you acquire them. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make room around here, so some of these things got to go. I'm not sure how. Is it going to take time? Don't be asking uh, me, me, me. I don't know what I'm going to do. You just have to wait. Anyways, thanks a bunch for watching. Have fun collecting, and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.